<laughs> All right, so I've just jumped onto my laptop and I'm on the Shopify website and I'm about to sign up. If you also want to get a 14 day free trial, you can use the link in my description down below if you also want to follow along with what I'm doing and build your Shopify store too. So now that I'm on this page, what I'm going to do is enter in my email. All right, so once you've done that, it's going to ask you a couple questions. Now this is more so for Shopify to know how to send emails to you in terms of email marketing. It's not very important, but you can just answer it as best as you can. And then once you've done that, it's going to ask you for your name, your address, all of these different details. So I'm going to fill out all of this information right now and I'm going to be back in a moment. All right, so once you've done all of that, this is the page you're going to see next. It's going to ask you to add your products, design your store, add domain and do a couple other things. So now that I'm on this page, what I'm going to do is go to online store right there. All right, so this is the section where you're going to be doing all of the editing to the actual web page that the customer is going to see. So the default theme that Shopify applies to your store when you first sign up is the debut theme. Now, I don't really like this theme because I think it looks a bit too dropshippy and because it's free, a lot of people use it and it will kind of give your website a little bit of a cheap look. So I like to go with a more custom theme. So the theme that I like to use is the startup theme. If you was to go into the Shopify theme store right now, you'll see that it costs around $180. I prefer this theme because I believe it looks a little bit more professional and when customers visit your store, it kind of gives it a more unique look, a more professional look and a more clean look as well. If you want to get the startup theme for free, you can click the first link in my description down below. So once you're ready to start designing your store, the next thing that you need to do when it comes to uploading the theme, if you do decide to use the startup theme or any other custom theme, is to go to add theme right here and then upload zip file. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so I've just uploaded the theme, as you can see, Project Shopify theme final. All right, so once that's done, you're going to see just added. The next thing that you need to do is click on customize. So this is the page that you're going to see once you click on customize. So I just want to give you guys a quick idea of what it looks like. So the first thing that you guys need to do once you're on this page is start from the top and work down to the bottom. Now, what you need to do is upload your image. So I've already got the logo created from the previous store that I did from one of my freelancers where they made me a custom logo. But if you wanted to use something like Canva or if you wanted to get a freelancer to make your logo, you can use a website like Up work freelancer.com fiverr and you can get a logo made fairly cheap so that's what i'm going to use right now so i'll be back in a minute so as you can see that's the logo that i'm going to be using but i'm going to switch it to mobile view just to make it a little bit easier and what you need to do is click on this icon right here and then click on mobile so this is what the website's going to look like if the customer is visiting your website on a mobile phone so i've added the logo so that's perfect i don't need to do anything else here i'm just going to click on enable fixed header so the logo has been uploaded so i'm just going to go back the next thing I'm going to do is come down here where it says image with text overlay. I'm just going to click on that and then I'm going to select the image that I want to use. So this is the image that I'm going to be using for this section of the website right here. So I found this image on Google on a copyright free website. So make sure that if you are going to be using any images on your website, you look for copyright free images so that you don't run into any issues when it comes to you building your business. So that is the image that I'm going to use for now and I'm going to click on select. All right. So once I've uploaded the image, what I'm going to do is scroll back up here to this section where it says heading and what you're going to put here is the title of your actual item so because the item that we're selling on this store is an ultrasonic tooth cleaner that's the way that i'm branding it i'm going to put that in this section right here okay so as you can see it says ultrasonic tooth cleaner i believe that looks okay so i'm going to leave that for now and then i'm going to click on save and then i'm going to come to this section here where it says rich text and then i'm going to click on default and what i'm going to put here is some pre-written text that i've already written prior to this video so i'm just going to paste it in here and in this section here what you're going to do is input text that will make the customer understand fully what your product is about so there's no confusion and you need to make sure that you put as much detail as you can about the product at the top here so that as the customer is scrolling through this page is going to act like a funnel so the customer is going to scroll through they're going to see your logo they're going to see this section here they're going to see the image of the item as well they're also going to read this section here and it's just going to give them a full understanding of what your product is about so the information here says our newly designed tooth cleaner is the gadget you have been waiting for for your whole life we are focused on ensuring our ultrasonic tooth cleaner is the best on the market with new and improved technology to get rid of those stains so it kind of gives the customer a full understanding of what the product is about Obviously, if I was a bit more serious about building a real long-term business, I might put a little bit more information in this section here. Not too much because I don't want it to be too overwhelming for any customer that's deciding on buying from this store. So I'll put enough information just so that they fully understand what the product is and what it does and what our company basically specializes in. So that's it for this section. The next thing I'm going to do is come back here and click on save. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to go back. And for the featured product, I'm going to select the product that I've already 
input into the back end of my Shopify store. So you guys would have done this already. Whether you're gonna use Oberlo or whether you're gonna manually input all of the information for the product yourself. Either way, I'm not gonna show that in today's video. So you guys would have probably already done that. And next thing you need to do is select the product. So I'm gonna click on select product right there. And then I'm gonna select the ultrasonic tooth cleaner. So as we can see, the website is slowly coming along. So this is the product right here. We got a pink option and we got a blue option. And then when it comes to the footer menu, you need to click on footer and then you need to click on theme settings. And then here you're gonna be able to to input your social medias. So whether you got Facebook or Instagram for your company, you're gonna be able to enter it here. For now, I don't have that, so I'm gonna leave it as it is. But if you did want to add your Facebook, Twitter, your Google+, Plus, I don't think that's even a thing anymore, Pinterest, and as you're inputting all of your social media accounts, it's gonna be popping up right here, but I'm gonna leave it as it is for now and click on save. So that's basically what the website looks like. It's more or less done. I'm just gonna input some information in this section here. So I'm gonna click on image with text overlay again. And then in the heading section, what I'm gonna do is put something catchy so that when the customer is at the bottom of the page, it kind of catches their attention, kind of summarizes exactly what the company does. So I'm gonna input something like, get the smile that you deserve. Something simple. Again, I might do something a bit more sophisticated or professional if I was building a real site right now for you but for now this is what I'll put and it gives you the idea again of what I'm trying to do anyone that sees that will fully understand exactly what the product does and then what I'm going to do next is upload an image so I'm going to click on select image and I'm going to use this image right here and then I'm going to click on select now as you can see the image is kind of transparent if you wanted to adjust it you just move it like that and as you can see it gets a little bit darker if I take it all the way to the end it's going to be completely non-transparent but I'm going to leave it around hair you know I don't want it to stand out too much I just want it to be in the background you know it kind of gives it a little bit of a professional look and then I'm going to click on save so that's basically what the website looks like at the top here we've got this notification bar that says orders sent the same day if purchased before 2 p.m obviously you're going to change that depending on what your company policy is we've got the logo right there we've got this section you know the image of the product and the name of the product a quick explanation of what the company does We've got the actual product here for the people to actually add it to cart and buy it. Very important. We've got the information about the product. We've got a little image here and we've got the photo menu. So when it comes to the photo menu, as you guys can see, we've only got search right there. Now it's very important that you make sure that you add your terms and conditions, your privacy policy, your refund policy and your shipping policy to your photo menu. Otherwise you may not be able to get approved for your Google ad account. And just in general, most customers scroll down to the bottom of your website to make sure that all the information is there so that they can read it before making a purchase. So it's very important that you add this information to your photo menu. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. So what you need to do is come back by clicking on this option right here. And then you need to go to settings. And then once you're on settings, you need to go to legal and then once you're on legal, you need to input the information for your refund policy, again, your privacy policy, terms of service, and shipping policy. Shopify already have the templates for these three options right here. So the way that you're gonna do it is click on this option here where it says create from template. So as you can see, Shopify have automatically input all of the information that I've given them when I signed up. So it makes it a little bit easier because you don't have to write everything out from scratch. Then you need to input the information for your privacy policy. Again, you're gonna click on create from template. And then again, it's input all of the information again and then the last one we need to do terms of service okay so it's input all of the information once again and then finally you're going to need to enter the information for your shipping policy so Shopify doesn't allow you to enter it from a template so I'm just going to fill this information out right now and then I'm going to be back in a minute so the information that I put here it says if you have placed your order before 2 p.m we ship orders out Monday to Friday we offer free postage with all orders to track your order please click the link in your dispatch email or send us an email for more information you'll receive your order within five working days now obviously if I was building out a real professional Shopify site, I would make it look a little bit better and I'd put a little bit more information in terms of how much it's gonna cost for international customers or how much it's gonna cost for UK customers. I'll put a little bit more detail in this section here and it's very important that you do that as well. Otherwise, you may not be able to get approved for a Google ad account as well. This is the information that they're gonna be checking if you do want to advertise your Shopify store through Google. They're gonna double check your shipping policy to make sure that all the information is there. They're also gonna go through all of your terms of service and your privacy policy as well as your refund policy to make sure that there's no errors. So even though Shopify have allowed you to input all the information using the template, you need to go through everything and make sure that all the information has been filled out accurately. But once you've done that, what you're gonna do is click on save. The next thing that you need to do is click on settings. And then the next thing that you need to do is click on online store again, and then go to navigation. Okay, so once you're on navigation, you're gonna add the pages that we just created to the footer menu. So you're gonna click on footer menu just like that. And then you're going to add item, and then you're gonna do terms of 
service and then you're going to link the page that we created so you need to go down to policies and then click on terms of service and then you're going to do the same thing for all four pages that we just created now so i'll be back in a minute okay so as you can see we've added all the pages right there so i'm going to click on save so i'm just going to go back to the design page where we was working on the website all right so i'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and as you can see all of the pages have now been added to the photo menu. So this is another thing that you need to do when it comes to designing your Shopify site. You need to make sure you add all of these pages. There's a few more pages that you might want to add to this section here, e.g. your frequently asked questions or about us page where the customer gets to learn a lot more about you or contact us. But I'm just trying to give you the basics of what you need to know when it comes to designing your Shopify store. So bear in mind that this video was just to give you an insight of what you need to do when it comes to designing your Shopify store from scratch. There's gonna be a lot more content coming out when it comes to making sure that your store has been optimized in the best possible way. So make sure that you subscribe down below and hit the bell notification so that you can get alerted every single time I release a video that's gonna help you guys make money on Shopify. If you found any value in it, don't forget to press the like button. It really helps out the channel in a big way. It allows me to continue making content just like this. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video. I'd love to hear from you and I'm responding to all comments within the first 24 hours. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.